The dream started with two men walking down a road past me. It seemed that they had just arrived in town. I noticed that they were well dressed, but both their heads were skeletons. As I was now being freaked out by these two men with skeleton heads passing me, what happened next freaked me out even worse. The taller one in front of me began to quickly pour out some water on his head, and the other did the same, and to my amazement their heads were no longer skeletons, but changed right in front of my eyes. I remember seeing some white smoke during the process of the change. Now, after their heads were quickly transformed, these two men were wearing the most finest suits that I have ever seen on earth. They were also the most perfect looking men that I have ever remember seeing on earth. I immediately knew that the taller one in front was the beast, the Antichrist, and the other one was his false prophet. Then I saw groups of people flocking to him and were very excited to meet him. Many of them seemed that they had been waiting for him. Now while he was still in the crowd, greeting people and shaking their hands, the weirdest thing happened. He began to ask for me by name. I was shocked and wondered, how could he have known my name? He then came over to me peacefully and wanted to greet me, and I noticed several things about this man. First of all, he is very tall, and he is a black man with an angelic face. He is also very powerful. Their suits were shimmering and looked out of this world and made them look very conspicuous. Both men looked abnormally, supernaturally handsome. When he came up to me calling me by name, I refused to greet him, because unlike the rest of the people who had surrounded him, I knew that he was the Antichrist, and that he had came to destroy as many as he could. When I refused him, I looked into his dark eyes and saw that they were pure evil, for he was not pleased with my refusal to accept him. I then began to rebuke him in the name of Jesus, for he was blocking my way. I probably seemed to be the evil one to the other people who were under his spell, but while I was rebuking him, he was getting angry, but not enough for his followers to notice. Each time that I had rebuked him, he would only step back a little while still blocking my way, and this frustrated and angered me, so I then used all the authority that the Lord Jesus had given me and said, Satan, I command you in the name of Yeshua to depart from me. And to our amazement, we saw the Antichrist got up unwillingly and walked about ten steps away and bow down on the side of the path, just like when a child has been told to carry out the garbage and hates to do it, but has to do it because of the parent's command. I was amazed to see how Satan has to bow at the command in Jesus' name. And that was the end of the dream.